All right, so this is the uh, classic DE. I made a mistake right off the bat. I mulliganed by accident. So, um, and now I didn't mulligan. I guess I'm just gonna have to hope I draw a land because obviously these won't give me anything for some time. So, bad start to this classic daily event for this week, but uh, I will at least get to see what Pranayama's playing. Wow, a lot of Lotus petals. All right, well, so I'm still not much better off. But I can, let's see here, I can actually play, oh, Here's that idea. So with Lotus Pell's mental misstep, I'm assuming he is playing Oath. And he is trying to dig for Oath. All right, well that helps. Because now I can actually, oh wait. Oh, I'm one short there. So if I play the Genesis Chamber, and he doesn't foul it, then I can use the Mox Opal to play my Ravager. He might actually foul this, which I would be all right with. All right, he did not, but it looks like he's either faking a foul or has a foul. We'll see if he, he'll probably use it if he has it on the Ravager. He has it. Okay. So he has the foul and he's using it. Kick putting a mental misstep. So if he does have an oath in hand, this memory is gonna really hurt me. That was a mistake. Yes. So now I need a skull clamp. He is playing oath. No such luck. So, this is not looking good. Let's see what creature he gets. But, um, at this point, with all these lowest pals and everything out, Bristol Brand. I'm not liking my chances game one. Hmm. All right, time all. Oh, so I guess he's debating. He's probably debating if he should use this again. Ooh. He's definitely going to have a foul, though. I mean, I would say without a doubt. But I got to try. All right. 
right. So. Nothing else I can do. So there's his combo. Now we can see the game. Let's go on to game two. So let's bring in the metamorphs. You'll notice that one of the changes I made was I put in worm pulse and took out Caracas. Um, I need witch banes, put the thorns in, and obviously the cages go in. Um, I will take out, so, the Memnites come out, because I do not want to play fast creatures. Signal pests come out. Actually, yeah, signal pests will come out. Although the chambers I don't like either. Put in the worm coils, I think. No, no one put the worm. Hmm. So let's see. I think I do. These are bigger, they're beefier, and I think I do want the worm coils outside the Genesis Chambers. Though I'm, I am debating this. I think I'm going to. No, I'm going to leave the chambers in and not. I don't need these warm coils. This is my thinking. So, chambers are actually good. I can. It'll help me get a lot of creatures that if I can get a skull clamp to land, I can um, draw a ton of cards. Also, it can pump up a Ravenger, um, and it gives me creatures for the Tangle Wires. Well, I did take out there eight creatures. Yeah, I'm gonna put in two single pests and take out two two chambers. Okay. All right, all right, much better hand. No. First things first, I am going to get this out for Lotus Petal. I just don't want him to have a fast, fast draw here. Okay. Land. That's good top deck. All right, he's going to foul the overseer, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I'll take it. Have to take it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tangle wire here, and if he has a foul, he'll pro another foul. Ooh, he, will, he doesn't. So the hope is. My Tango Wire will tap him down long enough, obviously, for me to be able to kill him. And I don't need any land. Plenty of land. Oh, nice. 
nice. Let's attack first. And I'm actually going to name Mana Crypt this one. Fast mana is pretty much, I think, his only way out with this tangle wire. And so. Ooh. It might have been a mistake. I guess I should have picked Lotus Petal because he probably has some in hand. Ooh, two in hand. So we can oath. Oh, energy flocks. Oh, that was sweet on his part. Wow. So, that was an obvious play mistake. Um, if I had named Lotus Petal with this one again, I would have definitely, surely won, probably, well, not surely, but I would have had a much better chance this game. Still not out. If I could draw, ouch, that hurts. Ugh, can't even play that. Alrighty. It's gonna be another ancient tomb. Trouble. Gotta give him a lot of credit in this game. I did make the play mistake, but uh, he made some really good mis good plays. Right, light steel. So light steel, actually, if I can somehow draw a wasteland and he doesn't play a land. Right, so if I can draw Wasteland, he'll have to sack his Blightsteel if he can't play a land with the two Energy Fluxes. Which gives me at least a chance. I hope this mana, I hope I don't get screwed with the mana. I should have one. Oh, yeah, that's um, I hate that. I'm not dead yet. I'm actually Tangle Wire. Help me. See that um, if I was able to differentiate between the workshop and the tomb mana, I would have been able to draw two more cards because I should have been able to skull plant my past.
Actually, you know what? I think I actually want to, yes. I want to sack that now. So that he. Uh. Oops. Dead yet. Two energy fluxes are tough. Hmm. Let's see. Probably still can't do anything, but let's just see. You know what? He has eight cards left. Eight. to do, what to do. Um, so I can kill one of his lands with this strip mine. He will have to sack the blight steel. I want to do that. I actually think I want to play this and play this. Alright, so he is not going to be able to save the Colossus. This will make him draw seven cards. Which means I don't think he can use the Oath. Can he? No. He can't attack. I actually might still be able to win this. This is a crazy game. See what he does. Yeah, he can't use Oath. Hmm. So for me, I have to sack this. We'll put it on here. Oh. 
question is, do I want to use memory jar? Or, or do I want to ravenger it? I actually don't think I want to use it. Because if I use it, he'll shuffle. Um, and you get a bunch of cards in this hand. Yeah, no, I don't want to use it. So, I mean, I don't, I don't, first things first, the only one I want to pay for is Bristlebrand. So I'm going to go like this. So, This is all for naught if he has a way to kill Grissom Brand, but I gotta try. Well, I guess he can draw seven cards. Maybe I do want to use Memory Jar. So let's see, if I use Memory Jar, that means he cannot use his Gristle Brand. You know what, I do want to use Memory Jar. That was right. I don't want to kill that orchard. See what he does. <laughs> wow. Dismember. Funny. Huh. Alrighty. So he cannot use his orchard. He's got one card in his weird. It was a weird, weird. Um, all right, hold on. What do I want to do? <laughs> I'm just going to tangle wire. All right. Oh, wait, it's going to shuffle. Oh, no. Where, oh, he must have taken out his one shuffle effect. Or the gay is, um, for the name of the card. Oh, all right. So I won this somehow. Well, that was a crazy game. <laughs> all right. Well, on to game three. That, that was absolutely crazy. I'm going to have to rewatch that one myself. Um, alright, I'm not going to make any changes to this deck. I am good.
So let's see how game three goes. I will keep. I do have a um, cage. Turn one off. Very nice. See if he has the backup. He probably does. So I actually have two choices there. Oh, he doesn't. I could have... Um, I actually could have, if I had wanted to, just play my clamp rather than the cage. But I think I want, I think the cage is the better play. Wasteland. Fine with that. Tons and tons of cards. So let's get a hit in, or cards, tons of lands. I am actually going to draw with the skull clamp. I can't play that, so. All right. So far, this cage is doing me, is saving me. Ooh, wasteland. So I want to kill this orchard, without a doubt. Then I will take and put in my Ravager. Next turn, I'll try to get this Tangle Wire down to start denying him lands. Because I am also afraid of that. Oh. Yep. Tangle wire. If this if I, he has no counters, I am looking really good this game. If he has the counters. You, know, you would have thought he would have countered that if he had them. Oh, he does. Ooh, burned a tanker for it too. All right. So he just needed another artifact to go with that tinker, I guess. He had got in a on one. So I'm still actually I still like this uh, this a lot because obviously I am going to be able to tap things that doesn't don't matter, and he is going to be tapped out. I'm going to go for the draw plan, so. Oh, nice. Ancient Tomb. All right. So I can tap the Tangle Wire, the Skull Clamp, and the Cage. Wow. Another Skull Clamp. So I will draw a ton of cards. That is... Good by me. Wow. <laughs> you got a ton of cards there. Not really what I wanted. Well, let's go with drawing more cards plan. <laughs> okay. So 
So I'm actually going to copy. Now I'm not going to copy anything quite yet. He's going to have to tap out still. I'm still going to go with the draw cards plan here. Or do I want to just stick with Lotus Petal? No, I still want to draw. Alright, now I'm just going to stick with Lotus Petal. Now with this Metamorph, I could copy the Tangle Wire, but well, I'll probably do that next turn. Or the Cage. I'm just going to wait. And he doesn't have any colors either. So, or he only has one color. So things like Abrupt Decay, I don't really have to worry about until you can start dropping some different colored lands out. Main thing, all right, he's just giving up. All right, so I pulled that one off miraculously. We will go on to round two.